So I had a request, a few requests, for the beer rinse. And this is um, in place of, well actually, in between your condition and after your shampoo. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really a simple process. It, it's kind of almost not worth a video, but I just want to show you um, the before and the after results and then how I actually perform the, um, the routine. So what I did for the first time today is I tried a new shampoo method. I used Castile soap, coconut oil, and apple cider vinegar. You may have seen one of my videos where I just did a uh, baking soda apple cider vinegar, which re yielded really good results. Um, I added the Castile for just extra cleansing power, and it really gave me um, a little bit better texture than the... Uh, apple cider vinegar baking soda and as you can see I've got more of a kind of a wranglety look here which is really what I get with the beer rinse so this may or may not be the same result for you if you didn't use the um, Castile soap mixture before so uh, but I warn you to make sure that if you do these methods with me you need to change your um, shampoos and your products from uh, products that have uh, toxins, chemicals, and parabens, and petroleums. Otherwise, these methods may not work for you. So think about that. Look at the ingredients on the packages that you have and make sure that they lean more towards all natural. Otherwise, I can't really say that you're going to have the same results. You also may have different texture hair than I do. My texture is probably about a 4A, uh, maybe a 4B in certain areas like the crown, and you probably will have mixed texture. But if you have more coarse hair, your results may be um, a little different. You may not have as much of a ringlet. You may have a, a fuller look. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the um, method that I use. Um, I use a dark beer. Uh, you can use bush or a light beer if you want to, but I found that the best results are with a dark beer. So you can get this at a nutrition store, you can get it at your local market. This one is a Shiner, which is a product of, I think it's a, I'm not sure who, who makes this one. But um, it really doesn't matter the brand, just make sure that it's a dark beer. It kind of has a porter look to it, a dark brown look to it, so that's the coloring. So I would try that because that is going to yield you the best results. Don't ask me why. Take it out of the refrigerator and um, make sure that it doesn't have, make sure it's a flat, more flat beer. That's what I find works the best as well. Although I, you may see on my videos, I also did a club soda rinse and that has really good results. So take a look at that video as well. There's also information on my website, blackhairnaturally.com. I've got some tips, some videos, recipes, and I do some blogs on various things about the hair and the skin. So check it out. So anyway, all I did was shampoo, and now I'm just going to rinse it with the beer. All right? So I'm going to turn on the water just so that the beer falls down. So you really only need maybe about a half a bottle. You don't need a lot. So I'm just making sure I'm starting from the back, and I'm working my way to the front. Make sure you get the crown. That's the area that I ignore the most. So make sure that you're covering that. Makes a bit of a mess, but that's okay. That's what sponges are for. <laughs> All right. And I would use as much of the beer on your hair as you can. Back again. And then work back towards the front. Side. Both sides. All right. Now, you can just leave it in. You don't necessarily have to rinse it out. Because of the dripping action here, I like to give it just a little bit of a rinse. Because you really want it to activate your hair, so leaving it in is always better. So I'm just going to rinse it out just a bit. Not much. And it also helps with my towels, so my towels don't get so beery. As you can see with the water there, I still have beer left in there, and I'm okay with that. That once you get it in your hair and it sits in your hair, it doesn't really have a smell. So you don't have to worry so much that you're going to have beer smelling hair. So um, don't agitate your hair with a towel. Don't scrub it. Don't try to dry it. All you want to do is put the towel on, 
leave it on for a few seconds, pat it, and then when you take it off, you just pat the ends just a little bit. Okay. You want to be gentle with your hair. But look at that. I mean, hello. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is what you want. You want defined curls, okay? And I don't care what your texture is, you're going to get some definition. You may not get this amount of definition in your hair, but you're going to get some. So take a look at that. That's definitely better than what we started with. And you get that shine. You see that shininess there? So I can't stress enough how well a beer rinse does on your hair. Uh, you may want to do a little research on beer. Maybe I will give you some information on that. But if you Google um, beer and hair, you might find out why uh, chemically that works really well for your hair. But I assume that it has something to do with the barley or the hop. So check out blackhairnaturally.com. I'm going to be launching a product line soon. It's going to have a pre-shampoo, a shampoo. It's going to have a conditioner and an anti-frizz cream. And this is going to be all natural. It's going to have a short shelf life. So I'm going to be selling it in smaller quantities except for the um, frizz cream. Um, 8 ounce bottles and the 16 ounce for the anti-frizz cream which is going to last longer. These are chemical free, petroleum free, paraben free all natural products. You could actually make these products at home if you want to, but I'm sparing you the time by having you just go online and purchase. Um, that product will be rolling out within the next couple of weeks, so look for it, blackhairnaturally.com. Thanks for watching.